Something neighbors here still don't have a month later is any clear idea when all its equipment is going to be gone. That's one of some of the concerns we heard at today's rally. Creator of earth and all living things. What ended with a prayer. Forgive our neglect and abuse of your gifts. Began with ideas. More renewable type energies and go forward instead of backwards. Dozens rallied in Mayflower one month after the Exxon Pegasus pipeline leaked thousands of barrels of oil all over town. While Exxon still works to get evacuees back in their homes, some are disheartened by what looks like a mass exodus. Now we've got people putting for sale signs up and uh, wanting to, to get away. And I just... I'm, I'm really hoping that Exxon will shut this pipeline down. The signs and outrage are also pointed at a pipeline that doesn't exist yet. About 60% of our Kansans are opposed to tar sands being piped through the, the Keystone Pipeline, which is kind of a significant finding. Uh, the tar sands that spilled through Mayflower would be going through a pipe that's 10 times larger if the Keystone Pipeline is approved. Now let us pause for a moment of silent meditation. Still, there's no peace for some homeowners near the spill who say a month later, it's not the lawyers, realtors, or Exxon they trust, it's their neighbors. It's just really hard to trust who who do you trust i mean the the best thing that we can do is come together as a community and share what information we have with one another now that last voice you heard was from a woman who did not want to be identified she used to live in this neighborhood until today she said the house is on the market she said she's not going to bring her family anywhere near here again back to you